So today I'm heading out to all Toyota Fest and I got the family with me. You see the HNIC and he got to get his Batman popsicle before the day begins. First thing I saw as soon as I walked in was this nice uh, Mark II Celica Supra rocking a 2J. Nice. Love the color on this thing. Love the paint scheme. Nice Watanabe's on it. Then we got this one silver. Something slight. It's not overdone. Very simple, straight to the point, like I like it. Yeah, that, you see it, we got another 2J. Then we go over to the wheels, we get, we got a set of Inky, uh, RPF1s, blacked out. OEM seats, we got a Nardi steering wheel. I'm a lifelong car lover, and growing up, I've always heard Inky. I say Inky, I hear some people say NK, but I say Inky. <laughs> So we had a handful of Mark V Supras, and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I am not a fan. These are one of those uh, cars that I said, okay, it's going to grow on me. Anything that's force fed to you and shoved down your throat, you eventually learn to like it. You adapt to it. You go along to get along. I've been seeing a lot of these Supras and I'm still not a fan. Um, I don't know what it is. I just don't get it. But this channel is for cars. This channel is uh, car content. I'm a content connoisseur. I am providing you with the finest car content. This is the best car content on the internet and the internet. So I got to uh, give the people what they want to see. And while I'm not a fan of this, somebody is. So I got it for you. Fresh off the presses. Look at it. HKS.A90 at Instagram. Got what y'all need. So while I don't like the new Supras, the, the Mark Fives, um, you enjoy it. You know, that, that's more of it for you. Please. So this one right here is a Toyota Supra that I do like, and I love those wheels. Those are super ad vans. I am a JDM baby. Um, growing up, it might have been Super Street or Import Tuner. One of the editors of the magazine owned one of these blue T-top twin turbo, and he used to do autocross. And I do like this one. This is 100% of my alley. Small wheels, fender mirrors, old car right hand drive also i used to have a 74 corona wagon and i miss it i toss and turn thinking about that car we got another beautiful jdm thing uh basically a cressida i like that a lot fender mirrors i'm gonna say that at nauseum and uh cut over here to a uh nice white hatchback or as we say in my hood a hatch busy I love seeing these well-maintained Japanese cars, like these old vintage Japanese cars, because a lot of them get overlooked and it's just like they're just gone. They were economical and they were commuter and fuel efficient and a lot of them are just gone. I love them. Supra, 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 supra. When it comes to JDM cars, you got the Hero cars, you got the Halo cars, you got the NSX, you got the Skyline, you got the Supra. Personally, I'm not a fan. I'm more of a fan of the VIP style stance, uh, Toyota Estima, um, all of the Glorias and Cedrics and Big Sedans and Verosas and all that stuff. That's the stuff that I like, uh, Sylvia's, AE86's. But I have this memory of watching this JDM Options and it was a RX-7 meet. It was all RX-7s. And a guy pulled up in a Supra, and this one guy just lost his shit. Supra, 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 Supra. And I don't know why he was so, like, geeked. I don't know if he was happy or excited or mad, but it was all FDs, FCs, Savannahs. And a dude pulled up in a Toyota, and all you heard was, Supra, Supra, Supra. 
So I have very fond memories of this car. When I was a teenager, my mom had one. She bought it from my uncle for 400 bucks, took it to Earl Shive, got it painted starlight blue. We were on our way to the bowling alley one night and T-boned somebody, and now the car is dead. So this is it right here. This is one of my favorite cars on earth. I love this car. I love this car with a passion. This car makes me horny. I really love these cars. I owned a AE86 uh, coupe, a 1984. I had a 1987 coupe and I had a hatchback uh, GTS. When I was growing up, uh, again, what I said, 2000, 01, 03, Man, we was just thirsty, just watching JDM videos, trying to get nice cars in these cars are $500 cars all day. They were cheap. They were fun. They were readily available. But today's world that we live in sucks and it's sad and it's heartbreaking. And I'm like just devastated. The hype beast, the reseller, the fanboy, all these like douche idiots just ruined everything because now you want to buy nice sneakers you want to buy nice clothes you want car parts you want a particular car you have the fair weather fans you got the people that's on the bandwagon you got the posers and the scenesters and the douchebags running up the price of everything something is released everybody got bots good luck buying anything without paying double triple quadruple could drop the price on everything these are 500 dollar cars all day if you're watching this video google the price of an ae86 corolla right now i bet your face falls off like i mean you guys honestly thank you for ruining everything I know so many people that's not even interested in the things that they claim to be interested in. They want to be on the set so bad. They want to like what the cool kids like. They want to do what's trendy. Hashtag. It's just like, I'm bitching because I am BTSJ grandpa. <laughs> I'm old now, so maybe I'm just complaining. But um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. The world that we live in now, everything comes with the cool tax. I grew up on this, like, it was this underground thing. There were people that liked things. This thing was cool. This was our thing. It was niche. It was cool. We were pure. We liked it. We enjoyed it. We liked these old cars. You were a Toyota guy. You were an air-cooled Volkswagen guy. You like Jettas. You like Golfs. You like mini trucks. You like low riders. But it's now like the waters are so murky, like everybody claims to like everything, but everything new gets old. You discover something that you like. You like it for one second. It's a high demand. Uh, it's the law of scarcity because these cars just aren't readily available. Run it up, run it up, run it up, run it up, run it up. <laughs> the people that's not interested uh fade off the set they fade off the scene but the damage is done because the price is driven up because the people with a lot of money created the hype created a draw it's the law of scarcity the people that are pretenders and posers they um you know try to double dutch and and, and get on the set and they um you know uh, drove the price up even man. I remember I had a good run in O2 where I was just buying sneakers, Nike SB blazers and, uh, lobster SBs and all kind of just dunks. And I was buying Metro attitudes from Japan and all this stuff, even like red wing boots or whatever collaboration sneakers. Now try to walk into a store and buy a sneaker. Try to walk into a store and get something that's collaborative. Try to buy anything cool now. Double, triple, quadruple the price. Like, I mean, honestly, just talking about it, it makes me sick to my stomach. Ew, it's all really gross. 
And um, I rant and rave all the time. And I mean, that's just something that I had to get off my chest since I'm looking at these Japanese cars. Because the bro tax, the cool tax is really rampant in the car scene, in the car culture. All this uh, scarcity due to the pandemic and the economy being bad and all that. It's, it, it's nothing. It's all cap. You know, like. People still have money, like I said, I don't know where you're watching this video from, but I live in uh, Southern California. Turn your head and see a Lamborghini. Turn your head and see a Porsche. Turn your head and see a $3 million house. The economy is supposed to be so bad, but it looks like everybody is doing so well. And the people that aren't doing well are living out of their means. Just running it up for whatever reason. But regardless, the people that are dumb enough to genuinely like something, and really have an interest in something and really be an enthusiast and really care about something, all your interests and all your dreams and all the things that you like and all the things that you love and all the things that you want to purchase and all the things that you want to partake in are ruined by posers and fair weather fans. Try to buy a concert ticket. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Just stop me when I start lying. If I offended anybody good shots fired. Uh Hello, what have we here? A Scion TC, Circa, Fast and Furious Part 1, Vertical Doors, Tuna, No Crust, Family. So this is another dream car on my list. Nah, 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 nah. Wait till I get my money right. I'm ordering a right-hand drive Toyota Estima. It's JDM, yo. I'm getting one of these as soon as I get money. So I'm at All Toyota Fest filming this Toyota Previa and a guy walks in front of me not once, not twice, but three times. After the third time, I politely say, hey, sir, you walked in front of my camera three times. I'm trying to get this footage off. Can you just give me a second? I'll be out of the way. He says, no, I can walk by. You're filming my fucking car. Public service announcement. Show some humility, you belligerent, self-righteous asshole. We're here for the car, not you. Hey, what do we have here? Turbo two-door RAV4. Got big wheels and slicks on it. I like that. Hey, what do we have here? Forerunners and Taco Mus. Know a lot of y'all are going to enjoy this section. I see tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of Tacomas. I don't know where y'all from, but in Southern California, I didn't want to be weird and say SoCal. I don't think people from California say SoCal, but in SoCal, man, we see a gang of Tacomas. They are like a crowd favorite. Like people love those things. They're, they're like, like religion, but, um, a lot of forerunners, a lot of Tacomas. So, um, enjoy. We just skipped past the, uh, Land Cruiser section and Land Cruisers and a uh, big Lexus truck. Those are really dope. Reliability. They're bulletproof. They're going to run forever as long as you maintain them. But yeah, we, we got, like I said, a lot of, a lot of forerunners here. These things are very nice. Enjoy. I like this a lot. It was one of my favorites at the show. It looks like this thing is ready for war. It's like if uh, Mad Max was a rapper, like this is what he would drive. Uh, status seats. If you know, you know, everything is diamond stitched. Gotta love the nerdy wheel. Inboard suspension, fat wheels, Cosmos. 
Um, got some, looks like some dimple dyes in the side and just a very beautiful truck overall. It looks like it could drift. He might smoke you from a dead stop at a red light, but I don't know what this truck does, but I love it. Not very much to say about this one. I love old Japanese cars. I love old everything, but, and this one is nice. Got the trailer mirrors, got some Watanabe's on there, something slight, got the little mini bike in the back. Really nice everyday driver. I like that. Very nice forerunner. Lift it up. Mud tires. Bikini top. I like bikinis. This truck is definitely summer ready. Summer breeze makes me feel fine. Blowing through the jasmine in my mind. I apologize. I'm sorry I had to do that to y'all. Back to the regularly scheduled program. <laughs> nice truck. Very nice truck. So I know absolutely zero about off-roading, but uh, the white truck has some PRP suspension seats. I know some brands. I see some uh, Fox suspension on this one. They got big wide fenders. Sparco. They got the harnesses holding everything in, in, intact. Uh, nice steering wheel. Roll cage. Big mud tires. There is no doubt in my mind that these trucks get busy. Get in the comments. Is this a pre-runner? Toyota Sequoia. I went to the Sequoias before on a family vacation. It's beautiful. Hot as balls in the day. At night, it's so dark. You can't see five feet in front of your face. And you could just hear nature. It's beautiful. I would love to live there. We got a nice one here. We got a lot of lights, brush guard, big tires, nice wheels, double cab, bring a friend, all season, pool and spa. Got the extra tires in the back. It's like a pre-runner. Let's go inside. We got PRP suspension seats. Very nice. Very nice Toyota truck. It's a 79. My son likes it. As you see, they got mirrors under it for a reason. That's how clean it is. And there is a janky ass three wheeler. Those things are scary. They don't make those anymore for a reason, but it's a nice showpiece though. I like this one. It reminds me of an Oreo. Perfect. Nothing extra. Nice size wheels. Nice color. Can't go wrong with white and black. Got another beauty here. Sign me up for anything with deep dishes. So this truck right here was really a treat. Um, not much that I could say about it. Um, I love the cafe racer in the back, but I like everything about this truck. The weathered look, the fender mirrors, the engine, the wheels, and then look at the inside. This one just left me in awe. They really did their stuff like just I like it. I think that this may have been the only GS that I saw there. Um, trying to think back. I don't remember any more GSs. Got a couple nice land cruisers here looking good, looking like they came out of a time capsule. I like what I see. Here's another GR Corolla. I think I saw one or two of them. Man, I really love the wheels on this Camry. Like, I think Toyota started killing it with the Camry around 2010, but I really like this one a lot. Nothing extra on it. We got a nice looking LC here. I'm not really a fan of a uh, modern Lexus, but uh, I saw 326 power and I said, let me go get some footage of this one. Man, I like this one here. I love white cars. White and red always does it for me. They got the contrasting roof. Black looks really good. 
diamond stitch on the doors on the seats and this is for all the harry potter fans i know y'all love this somebody right now is boned up rock solid when they saw this like somebody is like ready to go and next to it you got blue pearl i like this a uh, potter blue and white that's a really big front splitter i would be terrified to drive that obviously it's bagged but I would have my car aired all the way up. I would be driving down the street on Monster Jam. Like, I would be so scared to rip that splitter off. That thing is like a lot. So this is my favorite car of the show. It's very VIP. It's very Bosozoku style. It's very player. Like, the person that drives this, this is just indicative of an individual. Like, this was my favorite car there. I'm sorry, man. Why did they put this big protruding Gargamel nose on all the newer model Lexus cars? One of my favorite type of cars, the Lexus LS Toyota Celsius. Very beautiful. I like VIP cars. I even like these in drift spec uh, when you see them. But nothing compares to the first generation LS. To me, that's one of the best cars ever made. Get in the comments. Tell me if you disagree. First gen LS. Let's speed past these car parts to get over to the Corolla and the GT86. Both looking nice. I love white cars. We're going to speed past some more merch and land on a Lexus Coupe. Black car, white interior, can't miss. Got rims, it's lowered. Nice luxury car. Can't really go wrong. Um, again, I'm a fan of early model Lexus cars, but... You know, game recognized game. It's a good looking car. We have a nice looking Land Cruiser. Like I said before, I like them old. If this Land Cruiser was a genre, it would be a guilt. But what brings me over is this AE86. Like I said earlier, one of my favorite cars. It looks like Top Secret. And if you don't know what Top Secret is, I can't tell you because it's Top Secret. So this one right here is gorgeous. I love white cars. Watanabe's on it, looking fat. Fenders flared out. Levin front end. 4AGE engine. ITBs. Do yourself a favor. If you've never heard ITBs, please go hear some. Initial D. This is what made me fall in love with this car. This is what made me fall in love with drifting. This is what made me fall in love with Japanese cars. You never seen Initial D? Do yourself a favor and check out Initial D, please. Cartoon then the movie. Ooh, what have we here? NLS. You're not first generation, but you're still sexy. I like that body kit and those wheels are white. Gram lights. Did somebody say white grams? I don't like Coke, I just like how it smells. Is that a manual transmission? Vroom, vroom, vroom. I absolutely positively love this color combination. The way those calipers peek from behind those wheels. Oh, chef's kiss. Okay, here comes a rant from BTSJ Grandpa. The wheels on this Lexus IS are Works Meister SP1 three pieces. Those are some of my favorite wheels on this planet. Top three wheels. Emmett's. BBS RS and works Meisters. I know this wheel like the back of my hand or the palm of my hand rather from uh, my childhood. Oh, three. I was in my house religiously watching drifting DVDs. And I had one DVD, it was called Rev Up 100% or Rev In 100%. And I would watch the scene over and over and over and over. It was Signal Auto, and they had a driver named Drifter X. And he had an orange 180SX. Uh, he later put a S15 front end on it, but it was better when it was just a 180. But 180SX, burnt orange, mirror, like splash graphics up the side. And it was the lowest, widest, sexiest drift car that I've ever seen. The only thing that I think comes close would be maybe 326 power. 
but yeah, um, I don't know. The internet is vast. Somebody go find it. Um, get in the comments, please. BTSJ grandpa. Uh, the video is rev up a hundred percent or rev in a hundred percent drifter X signal auto one eighty SX. And, um, that car got me hooked on that particular wheel. So yeah, um, flashback. <laughs> I hope you were there with me. Oh, three BTSJ grandpa. Looks like the recipe for a drift car, wide body, big wing, inky RPF ones, full cage, bucket seats, strictly business, baby. The inside of that car is strictly business. Let's uh, look under the blouse. Let's get under the bra and see what she has here. Oh, a LS with a turb ski. That's a turbo in my hood. This is pretty serious. I like this one a lot. Oh, beautiful trunk setup. Nice hard lines on the air ride. Um, money isn't everything, but if you know, you know, that is expensive and you absolutely have to pay to play. I like this one right here a lot. Uh, it reminds me of myself. It's kind of like a, almost an OEM look. Didn't do too much to the body, but they got the fur on the dash, got the little uh, crazy color seat, dice in the mirror. And it reminds me of my personality. It just tiptoes up to the line of tacky, but it's perfect. I like this one a lot. You can't go wrong with the carbon fiber hood, red Lexus, nice wheels. This one is basically OEM plus looks very good. Nothing extra. Very simple. I uh, dare to say I would take a SC over a Mark IV Supra. Tear me up in the comments. I don't mind. I don't think I saw enough LSs, but the ones that were there were dope, though. Yeah! Got a little Evo action going on here. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person. Subra, 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 subra. This one right here is so dope. I did not know that Forerunners got this low. What the fuck? Somebody in the comments, let me know what this is. I don't know what kind of car it is, but I really like it. Um. Please don't leave your bike out like that no more. This is Long Beach. Like, word to the wise. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. I'm heading home. Like, comment, and subscribe. That's Popsicle number three.